Come on, Manchester, one more time. Oof. I say forget the interview. We just dance for the next 30 minutes. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Dance party? So dance party? We're just going to cancel the panel and play some groovy metal. Me and you are going to dance and you get involved? Yeah, yeah well, we're going to dance. Manchester, do you have questions for the guys? Throw your hands up. David is there with a rover microphone. We will come and find you. I'm going to get started because I'm a bit selfish yeah. like that. It's so lovely to it's have you back. It's the time to get silly. Yes, it is. <laughs> silly o'clock. It's lovely to have you back and it's lovely to meet you. Thank you so Woo! much. It's lovely to be here. Thank you. My angel. <laughs> Can you guys believe that it's been 20 years? She really opened up to me I finally. Really. <laughs> I really. It's been 20 years since Saw came out. Woo! Yeah, it's... How, how, how does that feel that, you've, that it's like an iconic franchise now? Everybody asks, well, I get asked a lot, how did it feel to go back 18 years later and play Amanda again? And I have to say, it was the wildest experience. You never get to do this in a career, but I felt like I had three generations of Amanda fans, like, all in me. <laughs> At once? Playing her, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've got like this massive heart and this tiny body, and you were all there. And I had my dressing room was like filled with letters you've written me, and I wore like a couple little, you know, jewelry things that you all know about. Little like, a, you know, talesman, is that what you call like, it? Like Taylor Swift bracelets. I yeah. Feel like, yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? And it was amazing. It was like... You were all with me, and you were all in her in 10. Can make oh, me cry. I love that. That's so nice. It's true. Saw fans, and I'm, I'm saying this with nothing but love, Saw fans are hardcore. Oh, they're hardcore in the best way. I love you guys so much. Yeah, they are. You, you're, aside from my daughter, you have my longest relationship. <laughs> 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 yes, hello. Hi. Speaking of long relationships, yes, hello. That's, uh, hello. <laughs> um, how's your weekend been so far? Have they looked after you as well? Uh, the weekend's been pretty uh, fun, and it's been uh, full. It's been full. It's been uh, so, but, uh, it's lovely to see all of your faces. It's it's been a while uh, since I've been uh, in England, and so the uh, the warm reception that I've received has been just amazing. Uh, Really, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You make the jet lag. Uh, not, you, you make it dissipate quite uh, nicely because you, you fill me with wonderful energy. So thank you for being you and for being here. Oh, I'm going to turn it straight over to the crowd. Hurry up, we got to dance. <laughs> Hi, uh, Shani. Hi, uh, Dina. I'm, Hi, just, yeah. I'm just curious. Um, Where am I looking? I, 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 I'm just uh, I'm very much a uh, big fan of Saw, big fan of oh, uh, The Blob as well. Uh, Shani, it's a fantastic yeah. movie. Thank you. Go Blob. Thank you. I, I, I just wanted to ask, um, do you guys have any advice for any aspiring actors or aspiring performers as such? It's, it's a question I ask a lot. If there's anything else you can do and be happy, do that thing. If you can't, yeah. then you're screwed. Yeah. And you're just going to do it anyways. How's that for you? Yeah, have some I mean, better that's pretty advice. accurate right there. I mean, the, the Where's Tom Waits? He'll have better <laughs> acting <laughs> advice for it's you. Very, just, I mean, it, you know, if it's something that you really need to do for yourself, then by all means have at it. But it's just, just you have to know going in that it's a very, very, um, um, uh, it, it's a very difficult industry. It's, competitive is an, uh, it's an understatement. For the, I mean, it's, it's just so difficult these days now. It's like you're not even really going into a casting room anymore. Everything is done via tape. You're, submit, you're submitting things. So, you got to make, make movies with your friends. You got to make, exact, yeah. exactly. If you're going to do anything, be creative, write your own, produce it, and then, you know. I'm waiting for her to direct me. I'll direct you, baby. Oh, I know she uh -huh. will. <laughs> oh, this panel's so good already, isn't it? <laughs> it's spicy. 
Uh, we, we can get spicy. Yeah, but no, really, uh, write something, get creative, because uh, to, if, you, if you just wait for the right role to come your way, it's, it's going to be, a, it, it's, so, it's so hard. It's a waiting game, and then you're, you're hit with a ton of rejection before you actually land that gig. So if you've got thick skin and you like uh, hearing the, the word no a lot, you're going to hear it a lot before you get a yes. I'll tell you that. So um, with that, good luck. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's really hard. But if you, if, you, if you feel like you really need to do it, then you should, you should do what your gut and your heart tell and you to do. Every time you get a no, just hear Dina and me saying, you're awesome. You're awesome. You are awesome. We've got a question right down the middle. Um, sorry, I'm really nervous. Hi, you're doing great. Um, <laughs> But I wanted to ask both of you um, what like your favorite scenes or like moments with your characters are. The favorite scene in Saul? Well, I only have a few. <laughs> um, I liked I liked our scene. We had a really I did too. we had a nice scene together. I mean, it was it was short with you. Um, but I, you know what? There's one one scene that I really liked uh, cr on a creative standpoint. From a creative standpoint was uh, in Saw, I think it was in Saw 3, after we were looking, uh, when we were investigating the crime scene, there's a shot with the camera that goes from the crime scene and it's a tracking shot, and then it winds up with me, like, it starts with me in the, in the crime scene and then it follows the crime scene. Yeah, it's one take, it's one long tracking shot, and then it winds up with me in the bathtub. And that was all one shot. So I was fully clothed in the beginning of the scene on me. Then the camera dips down. Do you guys remember the scene I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. And then it, uh, and then, yeah, it tracks along the, the, all the, 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 all the, yeah, the dolly. And then we wind up in the, in, in the bathtub. And, and I remember Darren saying to me, listen, you got you to get in quick, but you have to go like really smoothly because we don't want the water to be moving around because you should look like you've been in there for, a while and not just hopping in. So that was a little difficult. So you got undressed and slowly got into it the water. It was literally, it was like walk. this, it was like this. It was like, so you, got, you guys are the camera and you're there and the bathtub's there. So the camera's there and, I'm, and I come in and I do my thing. I haven't seen the movie in a while, so I forget what I did exactly. What did I do? Do you guys know? Anybody? It's like looking and, you know. And then the camera dips down and as soon as it dips down, And that's what we did. And that's how it was done. It's like all practical effects. That's why you got the part, because you were the only one who could do that. <laughs> I love that direction of do it fast, but not too fast, and get in slowly, but not... Well, you don't want to get hurt. I mean, there's insurance things, you know. Not you don't stay wanna... the water. <laughs> that's how I got my first McDonald's commercial. Running? Because I was the only one who could say, choosy cheese choosers always say cheese, please, when they choose the cheese and the cheeseburgers at McDonald's whilst jumping rope. That was amazing! I was the only one who could do it. Wow, that's... I, I, I couldn't do it. We got skills, Dina. You know? You know? I mean, it'd make me buy a cheeseburger, to be fair. Um, You're cheeky. <laughs> that's why they have me, you know, I'm dead cheeky. Um, what was your favorite scene from the saw then? Well, it's very interesting you asked me that, and Dina's right here, because... I've had this, like, as I re come back to Amanda, I really see clearly this idea of like, like if John is God, right, in our universe, Amanda's like the person who tries to play God, so she's trying to control, and he's the first person in her life that's ever loved her and like believed in her, and so what I do to Dina is like, like if I could do that to myself, you know, like, I wish I could, but I can't, so I'll just fucking kill her and do it to her. <laughs> but it's kind of a beautiful, like, you know, image. And then the angel. So I think, like, the lady scene rocked. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, I think so. I think it was good. Yeah. 
Well, I was very surprised by it, honestly. I was very surprised. You don't see me coming. You don't see her coming. Our next question is down the front with Annie Wilkes from Misery. Thank you very much. Misery? But I'm, oh, I'm the nicest oh, person yeah. ever. I was so, thinking Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we're in Missouri. <laughs> uh, a few thousand miles, but never mind. Um, my question's for Dina. I'm so sorry to ask this, but I did need to know. If you are given the script for Saw and the script for Starship Troopers on the same day, which one are you picking? Bearing in mind, Starship Proopers is all It's okay, one of you favorites. can say it. I won't hold it against you. Oh, 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 that's really hard. Oh, but I'm bumped. She'll be here all week. Um, gosh, uh, you know, it, it, it was really so great to be a part of this franchise. It, it really, it's, it's huge. It's, it's, the premise, all of it, everything, the way it all Thanks for happened. making things really uncomfortable up here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and thank you for that. Um, gosh, I, I don't, I, do, do you say the right thing or do, you, do I tell you what you want to hear? You say the right I, thing. I mean, I really like shooting bugs. I really like shooting bugs. I mean, I like playing a cop. But shooting bugs in the future, I mean, it's badass. I mean, it's just great. So I, I don't know, I, six months shoot all over the place, big effects, and you know, that was really fun. It's and okay. back in the day, back in the day, when there's a $100 million budget, and it's five months, and it's, it was, you know, it's a little bit different as far as the scale. Like this we made for very little money, and then it made Boku, Boku dollars. So, I mean, that's kind of what you want in terms of when you make a film. You want to not have to put too much money into it and then have it make a bazillion dollars and not the opposite. Um, but I don't know, guys. I, I, uh, it's, it's, a, it's Starship Troopers and Saw a close second. That's like, a really very close second. question. Was only because of the toys that we got to play with in the future. And I was, I was the quarterback. You know, and I got to have Rico. Oh. <laughs> time to dance. It's a good time to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we've got any other questions that aren't going to cause any conflict. Yes, hi, at the back. Um, if you, like, as yourself, found yourself in a saw trap... Where are do you? you? Hi. Uh, okay. Oh, hi. Yeah. If you yourself were in a saw trap, do you think that you, as, um, like, Shawnee and Dina, would actually survive the saw trap? Oh, I would survive. Uh, no friggin' way. I don't think so. I don't think anybody really does. So do they? I'm not, I know. I stopped. I didn't. Oh, you would. Did. You, you did? You probably oh, you would. did, of course. Well, you did. You did. Because I have kids. I wouldn't motherfucking survive she has any ki- trap. She has kids and she has mad skills. I, think, I obviously wouldn't. I think I that's on your CV, would. isn't it? Kids and mad skills. Yeah. Yeah. We should start a band. <laughs> it does sound like a band. Kids and mad skills. You guys no, can kids play the and mad skills. Like, uh, <laughs> what, what's a band? Like a cheeky band with like Hall and Oates. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Kids and mad skills. I'll, I'll be the DJ. It'll be fine. Just, oh. Have we got any questions about our music career? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Year, I managed to meet Costas and ask this Love question. Costas. So I wanted to know whether oh, this was what your answer would be. That when you were filming or when you've watched the films back, was there ever a point where you thought, I could have escaped that trap? Are you speaking to me? Well, both of, you, to, oh. both of you, yeah. Uh, I, there was no way I was going to get out of that, that my trap. There was no way, I, even, even if I got the lock unlocked, I mean, how is that gonna help remove it from my rib cage? I mean, it was, it was in there. Like, she was deep in there. You see the imagery? I was deep in there. She was deep in, she was deep on so many levels, in my heart, in my soul, in my, all the things. So get, even, you know, breaking, how do you get it? That, you can't, there was no way, there was no way. Uh, so no. 
We've got a question at the front for kids and mad skills. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Um, so with the Saw franchise, it's so interesting to see um, from the beginning that Amanda and John Kramer and all the apprentices are seen as antagonists, whereas in Saw 10... You they're fell more in like, love with us oh, and yes, cried. Oh, yes, 100%. Uh, they're more like protagonists. So from both your opinions, like, how do you feel about that? Like, the dynamics... That's like a badge of honor. And I thank you guys for it. You know, like, we're all in it together now at this point. And we've all come to understand each other in a, an unusual way. But that, when that happens, like, you did something. And you guys connected to it. Way back in three, which is how 10 came back. So thanks for connecting with us back then. I should probably see 10. Sorry, I, I, I've been a little busy. I will see it soon, though. I'm going to have to just binge all of them, at least before the next HorrorCon, so I can answer these questions better. It's one, one to three and 10 is all you need. Right. That's, that's, you know, we that's don't have to talk about anything else. <laughs> There's an old uh, Jerry Seinfeld joke about animal documentaries, and you support whichever animal is focused on that week, and it's like, if it's a lion chasing a deer, right. like, get, them, get him, don't let him use his speed, kill him, and the next week it's the deer, you're like, run, use your speed! <laughs> that is Saw and Saw X. You're the bad guys, and then yeah. it's, the focus is flipped, and it's like, kill them, kill them all. Kill them all, that's a Starship Shippers thing. Yes, it is. You, you did that on purpose, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> well, we've got a question. See what you did there. <laughs> yeah, you did. Hello. Hiya. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Um, so the first Saw movie, I think maybe one of the first horror movies I ever saw in my life. So big impact there. Mm -hmm. um, I was just wondering. You're welcome. Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> but uh, I was just wondering uh, if you two had like remember the first horror movie you guys saw, and or even just the first movie that had a big impact on you, anything like that. But yeah. I don't know what the movie was, but I was very young, and I wasn't in my house. And there was a TV on, and it was a black and white film. And it was <laughs> chopped off heads flying, floating around this house. I had recurring nightmares for years of the heads after me. And the very last dream I had, they were throwing me a birthday party. <laughs> and then I was over it, and I never had a nightmare again. I don't even know what the name of it was, but it scared the crap out of me. I can't remember the first one that I saw. Um, but I, I do go back. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm a Gen Xer, so the, the horror movies back then were a little bit different. Uh, but I mean, the earlier, I guess the earlier, like, like Halloweens and Exorcists and Omens and things like that. Um, that's what kind of come to mind, like, Damien, this is all for you, and she jumps out the window, and... Um, yeah, and, and then, like, I remember, like, the score in, in The Omen. You know what I mean? It's, like, really... Yeah, like, yeah right? It was I'm like, so old, mine were in black and white. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to get someone to sing The what Omen. What about you? <laughs> what's your... Yeah, what's yours? What's yours? Oh, Saw One. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was 20 years ago, so it's like your comfort food now. Yeah. <laughs> Where, da oh, hello, David. Uh, hi, guys. Hello. Hey, hi. Uh, first of all, just wanted to say we love you guys. Uh, love I'm you also, too. Also, uh, just gonna say, Dina, your trap. I just want to say it was like the best thing I think in the whole franchise of me. Thank it you. Was, I had nothing really cool. to do with it at all, well, but it, but it I agree. Really cool. I, the action. Did you, yeah. did you design Thank it? You. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we have a question. Um, what's your favorite saw, saw trap out of the entire franchise? Mine. Or both of you, both of you. Mine. Your, her, okay, she, she, likes, she loves mine it also. I loved it so much. It Mine was, was the best. It was, yeah. Angel trap is the best. Screw the jaw trap, man. Yeah. It's Dina's oh, no, trap. The reverse bear trap was pretty awesome also. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Iconic. Almost right. as awesome yeah. as Dina's. <laughs> All right, mine's second. Second. Just bigger. 
was so much bigger. Mine beautiful. was bigger. It doesn't always matter about size. Yeah. <laughs> My whole life is a lie. Um, I even I kid, I'm just, I, I just. I know. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> moving swiftly anyway, on. Anyway, moving on. Your bear trap, I've seen several tattoos of that. How does that several. make you feel to see your face on somebody's body part? You would think I would feel more uncomfortable about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get a little tense when you guys ask me to sign my name by the thing because, like, it's that's a forever thing. <laughs> but uh, I think it's pretty bitchin'. And there, like, there are some amazing tattoos yeah. really I've seen, one. like, really bitchin'. So I'm sorry I screwed it I up signing someone my that name. Had, like five different. Like, so, I don't know. Are you here today? The person that showed me like five or six different tattoos. On your legs yesterday? Are you here? Who's got saw tattoos? Raise your hand. She had, Woo! She, yeah, she had like five. It was, it was amazing. It's amazing. Really well done. It's a mad level of commitment. I've seen, yeah. over the years, I've seen more They're Starship, committed. Starship Troopers tattoos, but the saw tattoos are now yeah. really yeah. kicking off. Don't mess with them. I'm keeping my language clean because I see some. <laughs> Don't mess with the saw people. No. Well, there's loads of them, so I'm quite scared, I know. to be honest. We're um, not going to use the cuss words. <laughs> We've got a question down there. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I, I've just been thinking, obviously there's a lot of traps in the Saw franchise, and I want to know, both, both of you, of your own opinion, if you had to create your own Saw trap to put into the next film, or just as a suggestion, what would it be? That was too tough for me. I'm going to have to just pass that one on. because I. That's I can't a really even. interesting yeah. question. Yeah. I think I would put Cecilia and me in the same <laughs> trap. Oh, wow. In an interesting way. Well, yeah, is. it's percolating. <laughs> David, are you finding someone else for us? Yeah. I just want to keep the soul hands happy, David. I don't want to lose my jaw. Don't think you're in danger of that. Okay. How awesome has he been this whole weekend? Yeah. Keeping the energy going. I'm feeling it now, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you so much. Yeah. We, should, we should dance and then I'll just take a nap. Yes. I'm, I'm down for the dance nap down party. for the dancing, guys. I've said it once. I'll say it again. We've got a question. Oh, we're going to dance. <laughs> so, obviously, you two are absolutely incredible actors in the Saw franchise, but there are so many incredible actors in that franchise. Like, what's it like to work with them? Like, have you got any stories? Like, working with Tobin Bell, especially. Like, you have so much with him, Shawnee, in 10, especially. And, yeah, Dina, like, what's it like working with all the other actors in that franchise? I, I mean, it's, it's always very refreshing to work with talented people. Um, I find that, I found that with Tobin, I'm, I'm way more humble because he is so good. And, uh, and, when, and when you're working with someone that's, when you feel that it's, you know, it's so seasoned and, I mean, I've been around, I've been around for a while as well, but I, I just, I don't know, I, I look at certain actors and, and they're on a different caliber. They are a different, of a different caliber. And you just kind of like, wow, you just watch them work and you hope that you can kind of hold your own, kind of. Um, so it's, it's a learning experience, it's humbling, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, Donnie was wonderful to work with as well. He's kind of a, Donnie Wahlberg, yeah? Oh yeah, he was real fun. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's nice to work with people that know what they're doing. And, but sometimes you don't, you don't always have that luxury. <laughs> sometimes. But you, uh, what do you think? Well, the acting is like a game of tennis. So yeah. the better your opponent, the better you play. Yeah. It's a big mistake sometimes stars make to like, when they, can ca they have control over, is someone getting beat up over there? No, it's, it's Jimmy Duval being animated. Hey. No. <laughs> Uh, they make the mistake of, you know, like hiring people that aren't as 
As good. As so good? So they shine. Yeah, but it's not. So, like, Tobin, he's learned a lot from me. <laughs> so that's why he looks so good in the movie, because I'm a great Actress, tennis player. Actress, yeah, she's really, really good. Donnie, I taught him, you know, Everything how, to, he knows. how to fight. <laughs> what, what he didn't know about the fighting is, like, you do it at half speed, and it feels really uncomfortable, but it looks right on the camera. Tobin learned from me <laughs> character development, you know, like how to pay attention to the details and, um, and keep it really on a human level, like just go for the... Are you guys buying it? No, it's really fun to work with other good actors. Like Tom Waits is around here. Do you guys know like what a good actor he is? Like, it's really, really fun. It's like playing in a band, you know? Like you, you work off each other and yeah. you surprise each other and... Yeah. Tom Waits is awesome. We've got a lot of time for yeah. Tom. Yeah. We've got time for one last question, but before we do... Then we're gonna dance. We're gonna dance. You were so good at teaching Donny Wahlberg. We all forgot he was a new kids on the block. Well, you know, I, I helped him apply the dancing oh, moves. He taught, so he taught you the dance moves? No, no. Oh, I'm so a you... better dancer than him, too. I still, I couldn't. There was, one, there was one day we were working together, and I just kind of, I had just met him. I didn't, I didn't know him. And I, told, I had to mess with him. So, I mean, I kind of, like, walked by his dressing room, and I was just like, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. I just had to. And, um... Uh, like a half an hour later, I found a dead body, a fake dead body, in my shower, in my, in my dressing room. He, to he totally put a dummy, That's awesome. a dead dummy, in my shower just to mess with me. I, love I learned a lot great. from Dina. Yeah. The idea of you finding this corpse and just hearing the right stuff. <laughs> this is our last question, no pressure. Better be good. Oh, God. Or I is it, can now, we dance I? now? No pressure. I I wanted to talk about Saw 2, and uh, one of the scenes that's probably the most scary for me is the pit of syringes. Yeah. Yep. Do you yeah. remember it? <laughs> <laughs> I was pregnant, nobody knew, with my son who's now 18. But what's really cool about, go about 10 and going back to that period between 1 and 2 is like I want to explore what happened in her that she was willing to die because she could have not made it through that yeah. so like what happened in her that saw two came and she was just like yeah I don't care. but am i correct in that you hate needles and uh, does anyone like them well no but also to find out that they hadn't actually stripped all the syringes of the blades. No, they had. That was a joke. The prop master comes up to me right before, like, we're about to film. Right before action, he goes, oh, sorry, we missed one. Are you sure? Well, like a good actor, I used it for the scene. You use everything that exists, and you work off the other person. So I just believed it. Classic scene, great acting, and thank you very much for being here this weekend. Thank, thank you, you guys. guys for being here. Thank you. That is all we have time for for this year. This is the last panel. Do you want to have a dance party?